Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through, we'll make a big wish that we we'll never have to do this Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with the Fisherman Fishing Planet, and we are here at Tiber River, Italy. And the reason we have come here is, unlike with Fishing Planet Classic, as we found in the last episode I did there, you can troll here for certain. Now, somebody had told me on Fishing Planet Classic, he was able to get it to work in LaCroix, but I might have to try that out. But here we have fish holders, or fishing pole holders. And we're going to go ahead and get in our boat here. And I think I had somebody ask me what boat I actually have here, what the name of it is. I will give it to you. It is the Battle Taurus Motorboat. And it is, it is absolutely awesome. I mean, it has some serious speed. Uh, the things I have brought with me today, mainly, I only have like one float fishing rod. I haven't brought any bottom rods. Uh, once I get to the point where I have like five or six uh, rod case, I'll start carrying bottom rods with me more often. But I have brought along with me uh, some extra light tackle here that I can try out. I don't know if I'm going to do it on the boat, but I've just brought it along with me in case... I happen to catch something new or different on light tackle, but I've got the Featherlight 7 foot and the Prima 3000. Uh, they don't go above 9 pounds, so this is definitely extra light. Uh, the Floral Line 8 pound test, and that is the oh, yeah, the, the Prima 3000. Let me see here. Now this is a trophy spin 8 foot by 10 inch. Now this thing goes from 18 to 46 pounds and it was part of a DLC. There's a spinner, spinning rod and over here there is a uh, bait casting rod, the prize caster. And both of them go close to 50 pounds in test. See this goes up to 42, this goes up to... Uh, 48.5 so we've got some heavy duty line on here each one of them I put 20 pound test shouldn't be much of anything here bigger than that that we can't pull in but since we're going to be trolling it might need it just in case because I did test this out and sometimes a monster fish grabs onto it and can snap the line while the boat's moving that's not a good thing Anyway, and I also have my Nero 12 foot by 10 inch. This is my float rod. Uh, it only goes up to 12 pounds. And right now with my level at 20, it's as big as I can get, unfortunately. So we have to make do with what we have here. Anyway, let's go ahead and get in here and see what we can do. Now, if you notice, we have uh, a peak period here between about 1 and th maybe 4 p.m. Because it's a cloudy day. So we started at noon. That'll give us the maximum amount of time to see if we can't take advantage of that. We're going to go ahead and put a private room here. And we're going to go ahead and get started, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and start the engine here. And let's see what we can do. I'm not sure if I want to go to the right or left. I think I'll go to the left because there's a bridge over there. But before I do that, I'm going to get out here in the open. And then we'll go ahead and weigh the anchor and we'll cast out our poles. So i got number two here. And I got that crankbait 16 foot by with a 3 odd hook. Mm, probably ought to do a little bit better than that. Let's try casting that out a little further than that. 
not too far. You don't want to have your line out too far. And then we'll put it in the first rod holder. And then we'll get the other big one. Now this one I've got a triple runner 13 foot and with a three out hook. We're going to see how that does. Well, I am not casting it very well here. That's too far. There we go. Now it's not going to cast it too far because that's really too light for this rod. But that really doesn't matter so much because we are, like I said, trolling. Let's go ahead and start this. Right. Now we just want to take it up to 1%. That is all. 2% is sometimes works, but 1% is ideal. Forgot to lift the uh, anchor. That kind of helps get the boat moving. <laughs> but anyway, we are going to go ahead and head this way towards the breathy bridge. Oh, heck, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. I was trying to turn it and I ended up hitting the wrong button. There we go. I don't know if how well these particular lures are going to do. I have had quite a bit of luck off the crankbaits in the past though. But unlike Fishing Planet Classic, we can control the bolt, so we can take this anywhere we want to go. Yeah, that one's getting quite a bit of drag off of that. But so far, we're not getting any bites. I don't think. That almost looked like it had something, but I don't think it does. Oh, now we, yep, we got something big time. One thing that's nice too, guys, is this boat will stop when you have a bite automatically. The engine keeps going, so you don't have to restart that. Let's see what we got here, guys. Probably an ass, but I've been getting a lot of those. Yep, new personal record too, 828. Not too bad. Not too bad, not too shabby. There we go. Let's keep this. Alright. Devoted. Certain number of active fishing days. Calendar days are active. A day is considered active if you caught at least one fish on that day. So you can get up to three gold for that. That's not bad. Okay, now we got one. There we go. Okay, let's up this a little bit, but not too much more than that. Let's see what we got here, guys. Another asp at 662. So far, we're just catching regular asp. No trophies. Of course, that may not come till later. Alright. Let's keep going. There are definitely fish down there, and since that goes... Holy crap, again. No, no, no. I think it was just scraping on the bottom. Whoops. Throw this one out a little further this time. All right, now let's go. Perfect. Yeah, you just barely gotta tap it. it looks like we got some fish down there. Decent sized ones. Yeah, 
that we are getting close to the bridge now. And I think there's something on number two. I'm not 100% certain, but let's see. Nope. I think it was just the lures bobbing that much. Yeah, it takes some practice, definitely. But, yeah, you can only go about three miles per hour. And nothing's really been biting off that crankbait, which... has me a little concerned. But once we get under the bridge, I'm going to kind of circle around it a little bit. And if we don't get anything, I think I'll switch it to a spinner. Okay, that's got a, that's a fish. Okay, let's see what we got here. There we go. Young Wells catfish. And caught it with a a runner, huh? That's pretty cool. 250. It's not too bad. Well, we're going to definitely keep the runner on there. Like I said, I'm going to test this one out. It is, the problem with it is, it's got a very large hook on it. And I'm afraid maybe it's just too big. It's like a 5 aught. Now the ass might bite it, but I'm not so sure you're going to get anything much bigger that, or that's going to be found in this area. But yeah, this is a... As you've seen in Fishing Planet Classic, this is a serious hot spot for ASP. And I'm going to turn around here. Go back down the other part of the underside of the bridge. Yeah, I am not getting anything off that crankbait. Which is kind of disappointing. I did off the one that I lost, of course. That's a 4 eye, but still, it's kind of big and it's deep. Very deep. So, may not be the best choice here. Let's see what we... Now, I'm just sitting here thinking I wonder if I know it's a top water lure but could you use a walker for trolling I mean would the asp go for them well let's give it a try I mean, it ain't gonna hurt anything and I think I might switch this one too, just because I want to do something different. Alright, let's see here. Uh, what could we put on here? How about this half ounce spinner? Yeah. I know it says it's too light, but like I said, it doesn't matter when you're trolling. <coughs> it just affects your casting distance, and that's not a big deal because we don't really need it to be cast very far. Oh, gotta start the engine again. Alright, let's tap the... oh, wait a minute. Lift the anchor and tap. Shoot. There we go. 
Now we're going to go underneath this side this time and then go around on the outside and I think after that we're going to just head on downstream. Well, I think we're going to head on downstream. Nothing went for any of those lures. There's quite a bit down here to fish for. There we go. <coughs> About time. I'm starting to wonder there. And he got it off the walker. Alright. So we did find out that the walker works by trolling. Okay. Awesome. I'm not sure how fast he go at 2%. Let's just see. It's too fast. No, still 3 miles per hour. Wait a minute. Yep, we got one. We got one. Didn't have to bring it back. There we go. Damn, he's pulling the boat around. <laughs> there we go. New personal record, Asp 870. That's not a bad fish. Now, somebody had asked me how you take a picture of yourself with a fish. Now, what you do is you hit P. Since he's a smaller fish, you kind of hold him up instead of putting him on your lap. But you can kind of position that so you can see it well. And then I always hit the F12 button. And that will take your picture. That's how it's done. And it was off the walker again. Man, they really like that walker. Yeah, we got something right on this one again. It's not very big, though. Oh! European perch. Yeah, it looks like we're getting some different species now. That's kind of what I was hoping would happen. As we go downstream, we get different things. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, there we go again. Okay, this isn't a really big one. Is another asp? Yeah, he's kind of, kind of tiny. All right, we are starting to. Now if you look at the map here, we're starting to get close to where that wall is at the floating feeder heaven. We're going to basically, there's that building that we're seeing here, we're going to basically skirt around here, around the wall, and start heading downstream to where those 
trout are located. Let's see if they go for the for trolling here. Anything goes for it. Ah, uh -huh, there we go. There we go. There we go. We have something here. Uh, nice, 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 nice. What do we got here, guys? Aha! Marble trout. 482 cash. <coughs> so the trout do go for the trolling. Well, I think we're going to navigate this a little bit, see what we can do. Just keep circling around. That spinner got his attention right off the bat. Alright, let's see here. There we go. Oh gosh, there's all kinds of islands here. This could be very, very interesting. Yeah, we can just kind of sail around these islands. There's all kinds of fish out there. Alright, we definitely have one on this one. Whoa, he's big too. Now there you go guys. Trophy European Brown Trout. Now he is a pretty <coughs> thing. Trophy European Brown Trout. Now that's... Yeah, I think we're going to get a look at this guy. The only thing is when you do the picture, they do shut that down, but... He's a pretty fella. Get a picture of him too, I think. Number F12. That'll get it. You can kind of really, like I said, get the best pose possible. It seems to be a little bit brighter right now, so we can see. Let's keep him. I thought I had a bite on the other one, but I, I'm, I was either mistaken or he let go of it. I'm not sure which. Ooh, got that started right off the bat. That's good. Okay, let's see if we can't... God bless it. There we go. Yeah, see, we can go around that island, too. Okay, we got one that again here. See, we got on this one. <laughs> you know the yell, young Wells catfish. I'll be damned. They like those deep triple runners. That's huh? really strange. I would have never thought about that. I don't know if the big ones will go for them, but it might be worth trying. Yeah, getting around these rocks is not very easy, but well worth the effort. Well, thought we did, but I think we do off of this one. There we go. What in the 
what do we have here? Another marble trout. It's 650. So the brown trout go for it. The marble trout go for it. So that means trolling for trout. Well, that's too fast. Ah, I think we have another one on the other one too. Holy crap, here we go. This is, now it's getting interesting. Trophy European Brown. regular European brown. Not too bad. Well, we're right in the peak right now, so we're going to be... Let's put this one over here. Let's get this thing moving again. See, I wouldn't have thought the trout would be that prolific over here, but they definitely are. There we go. Another nice fish. And we got one on the other side too, I think. Oh, maybe not. Sure looks like it. will be just nope it's a fish wasn't sure if it was a fish or it was hitting the bottom another young wells catfish that is so amazing Okay, we definitely got something on this one. There we go. Another marble trout. We're getting quite a few of those. more rocks oh yeah this is a great trout spot and there's like a little area over here I don't know how far up you can go on it mm, let's just 
see what we can do here. Yep. That's as far as we can go. I'll tell you what. Let's pull these in. Call this an episode. I, th I. S oh, okay. I thought I saw a fish over there. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. <coughs> what? Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of The Fisherman Fishing Planet. And that is trolling on Tiber River. So anyway, until next time, as always, say aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.